Hey guys, Finn here. Time to play some Trioptimum Corporate Network. Looks pretty pro. Now, I have gotten a lot of advice on, uh, you know, things to try in, in terms of ways to play this game. I got them written all down here. And I'll, I guess I'll refer to those when the time comes, which I presume will be maybe right away or something. But first things first, let's watch the intro movie. Look at you, hacker. A p pathetic creature of meat and bone, panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems. Nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States police action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Bosom of the cosmos, eh? That is a fantastic line. <laughs> wow. Okay. Cool. It's that's not awesome. Okay. I'm gonna start a new game. Okay. Easy, normal, hard, and impossible. Wow. I don't know, man. I uh, there's there's four difficulties. That's that's one more than thief. Ooh, that. Oh, I don't know. That's just pretty complicated. <laughs> Guess I'll pick hard. Pfft. Oh well. Oh! I'm supposed to try to set up the controls differently, actually. Let me just see if, if that's correct there. Nice, you still got your lean left and right and everything. Alright, I think that's got it. Look at you, hacker. Oh. A p pathetic creature of meat and... Okay, it was gonna play it anyway. Great. Fantastic. Alright! Whoa! Holy crap! Down, down, down! Jesus Christ! All right, that's a little Welcome better. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN recruitment facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The graph shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the graph shafts. Well, okay then. Wow, this looks a lot like Half-Life One, like a lot. It's, are these original textures? Like, are these seriously? Because this looks amazing. I mean. For real? That's 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 cool. This is a really neat aesthetic. I'm I'm liking this, and it's still got that weird transparency. Whoa, no, it's just my eyes that are bugging out. Okay, now I seem to have a lot of controls here. I don't really know. I seem to have a middle click or an inventory or not. 
M isn't map. What is this madness? <laughs> wow, lots of details in the environment. Okay, I'm trying to head to the grav shafts, but instead of doing that, I'm instead going to try to make a phone call because, really now, I get. Oh yeah. This device is temporarily out of order. Oh, temporarily out of order. So I have to smack it back into order. Oh, the shift walk is reversed. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Auto run. Good. Step I into the grav shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Which one do I want? Oh, I guess I want this one, because it sort of takes me... Hey! This is like that thing in, um... Well, maybe not. That thing in, uh, you know, in San Andreas Oh my god, they got vehicles and everything? Uh, wow, that... Holy crap, this looks really, really good for the time. Like, look at that lighting, I mean... You know, you can tell things are a bit low-poly, but... Damn, I like this aesthetic. I do. Do I have a zoom? I don't have a zoom. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Wow. I want a truck like this. That's badass. It's got this three-wheel thing on the back, which I guess is not quite as badass. But, anyway. Now, I hear that the quick save saves over the autosave slot and vice versa, which is kind of weird. But I guess I'll deal with that, apparently. Where the hell am I even going? Oh. Am I, oh okay, I'm going up here. U-N-N... Aerospace Corporation. Basic Before training. Before you choose your career, you'll want to learn some basic abilities. First, you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training, proceed to the advanced training area. Well, okay then, Mr. Robot Dalek guy. Whoa! This is awesome! To pick up some basic skills you'll need to get by in the service, enter this Cyberlink booth. Inside, you'll learn the basic skills you'll need to get started. Oh my god, this looks so awesome, look! <laughs> Welcome, trainee. <gasps> While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Move the mouse. See okay. how it changes where you look? Totes. That means you're in shoot mode. Hit okay. the tab key. This puts you in use mode. Ah. You can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. This uh, display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try right. changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Follow the red path along the ground to the next training station. Well, okay. Let me, let me get in the hang of this for a few seconds. Okay, so you just got your different areas of skills here, and then you got your stats, which are kind of like Oblivion or whatever. Well, obviously that came after, but it's it's what I've played, you know, it's how I can understand it. That, you know, it looks a bit complex, but I think I can understand this sort of thing, so, um, let's just follow the red line here. What next? To pick up items, Ray. center them on your screen and right-click. This will uh. automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the tab key. You can move items around your inventory by left-clicking and dragging them around. To drop an item, drag it from your inventory into the 3D view and release the mouse button. Intuitive enough. Okay. A bag of chips, a bottle of juice. Hmm. Drag it. Drag, drag. Hmm. Dragging isn't working. How do, how do I, uh... How do, how do, how do I... What, can I not drop it or something? Drag... Huh? Right, apparently this is a common problem. I just have to try to apply a fix or something here. Okay, there we go. Works fine. Also, fix the save system so I can have a quick save there. For whatever reason, it's called crouch hold instead of quick save. I have no idea what the deal there. But anyways, okay. All the headaches are over for now. Let's go on with an actual game. To use items like buttons in computers, center them in your view and click That's the right mouse it. button. Oh. All usable items will have brackets around them. Highlight the button on the pillar and right click. This will activate the lift. Try it out. Well, okay, but I'm going to still see your inventory display. Yeah, yeah. It means you're in use mode. It the object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right-clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Your hit points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen. Many objects in your inventory can be used by right-clicking on them. Okay. 
Good. Yeah. Well, I figured that out already. I don't want to go See up the, the lift crank yet. in front of you. Yep. To search it, center it on your screen and right click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right click. To take an item yeah. from that container, simply left click on it. This will automatically place that item in your inventory. To close the container window and return to shoot mode, press the tab key. Gotcha. Okay, that's, that's simple enough. One of the most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA display. Currently, the contents of your PDA are empty. Now, pick up the audio log in Good. front of you. This message is coming from the audio log you just picked up. You can use your PDA at any time to play any audio log or email you've received. In the field, the PDA is also used for keeping track of your current mission objectives and obtaining help information. Okay. Fine. Seems pretty Now uh, it's time to learn simple. about jumping and mantling. Oh, I know about Jump. this. <laughs> Simply press the space bar. Some surfaces can be mantled onto by holding down the space bar. To climb a ladder, yeah. simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. Yes, I know all about mantling, but however, it's a total third-party rip-off of mantling because you don't go, <gasps> and no sound is made at all. I can tell those cheap knockoffs from the real thing. What are you even talking about? What? I don't get to go up on the lift. What is this nonsense? I guess it's a holographic lift. How completely disappointing. Anyways, I suppose that's it for basic training. Huh? You've done well. Sure Remember, have. If you're unclear on any aspect of what you've just learned, you can repeat the training as often as you wish. Okay, let's go to advanced training. If you've completed basic training, you're ready for the advanced lessons provided here. Advanced training will familiarize you with the three key areas of military service. Weapons training, technical training, and psionics training. Gah! Approach the Cyberlink booth of your choice to train in that area. When you finish training in the three areas, proceed directly to the recruitment center to choose and start your military career. What? Look at all this complicated stuff I'm gonna give you. Okay, let's just do it. Weapons looks good. All right, wannabe. If you want to learn the weapon skills it takes to even think about joining the Marines, come on in. We're looking for... <laughs> all right, wannabe. If you want to learn the weapon skills it takes to even think about joining the Marines, come on in. We're looking for a few good men. All right, I guess it, you know when it's time to turn the page of the commentary of the 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 audio when it goes boop. All right, a few good men. I am a few good men all in one body. So let's good to have do you this. On board. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Oh yeah. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. Uh -huh. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. Nice. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. Once you've loaded the firearm, Take a shot at the dummy robot by pressing your left mouse button when in shooting mode. Notice <laughs> how its health bar gets shorter as you chip away at it. Some items need to be charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up oh, all on. of your energy based items. Weapons, batteries, you know. <laughs> I totally should listen to him. Wait, whatever, okay, energy weapons, whatever, I, I, I don't know, I, uh, uh normally weapons in a pl are not fine wines, they do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Green is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. Okay. Except, I just used it once and it was still fine? Uh, I don't quite know what just happened there. If this was me playing by myself, I'd totally listen to these guys, but I, it's like annoying for a let's play. So let me just go through this again and, and, and learn it myself. Just a second here. Part of the interface has disappeared. 
Eh. Guys, this stuff disappeared. These little corner things and the health bars and all this info, it went away. And then I restarted the game and it was back. I don't know what key I pressed, but I'm hoping I don't do it again. Okay, yeah, the maintenance tool is is this thing, not that. I don't know what I was even thinking. Anyways, obviously I want the pistol. Pistols are cooler. They go BAM! Instead of just like, chew. Cause, cause, yeah, that, that's cooler, right? Good work. Now you're ready for the Marines. Take a look at the other training areas first, before you enlist. They might just come in handy. Well, okay. Well, I think that that'll be enough for today. Uh, honestly, I might normally play some more, but I've spent part of this video ironing out some technical headaches with the infamously poor and finicky uh, support for uh, binding your controls without them screwing up in the Dark Engine. Uh, believe me, I know that from Thief Gold. Anyways, so far this is a little bit complex, but I think I can get the hang of it, and it looks so amazing! Oh, that's not where I want to go. And next time I'll probably just whip through these trainings here and uh, get a feel for it myself and maybe, you know, show them a bit. And then I'll go on and choose my vocation there, which probably won't include the ghosties because I've been warned that it's kind of crazy hard. So, see you guys next time for more System Shock 2. Bye for now.